Let's work an example on the BA2 Plus where we enter cash flows of a project, find out the net present value, NPV, or the internal rate of return, IRR. So in this example, we're going to assume that we are investing $7,000 in a machine right now today, and then we're expecting a series of cash flows into the future. So we can see the series of cash flows right here. Year one, 3,000, then we want uh, four more years of 5,000, and then a final year of 4,000. So now let's go ahead and go to the CF function on the calculator. I'm gonna hit CF and I can see I already have stuff in there from when I did this before. So you might see uh, a non-zero value. And if you see that, what you should do is hit second and then this clear work. So we wanna get everything out of that worksheet so that we can start from scratch. So now we see CF equals zero. That's the cash flow of today is equal to zero. So now we need to put in our initial $7,000 investment. So let's do seven, zero, 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 and then negative. Negative represents a cash outflow that we're going to pay. Then we'll hit enter to lock that in and now we see the equal sign it's locked so now if we hit this down arrow button right here we're going to see cash flow at time one so we said that in year one we're going to have a three thousand dollar cash flow so that's going to be an inflow so we don't make it negative we keep it positive so we do three thousand and then enter we see the equal sign that is now locked in if we do arrow down we see f01 which means that the frequency of this first cash flow occurs only one, which is perfectly fine. Now let's hit the down arrow again and we see cash flow two, CO2. So we said we're going to get $5,000 now for four consecutive years. So we're going to do 5,000 enter down arrow now we see the frequency of that second cash flow right that uh five thousand dollars and we're going to get it years two through five so that's actually four years so let's type four and then enter and then hit the down arrow and now we're looking at the final cash outflow that's going to happen in year six so this is really our third cash flow in this series and so now we're just going to do four thousand and then we'll hit enter and we can arrow down and see that that happens only one single time so if we think about what we're really seeing here i'm up arrow going all the way to the top. We're paying 7,000 the first year, negative cash outflow. Then we're receiving 3,000 one time. Then we're going to receive 5,000 four times. And then finally, we're gonna receive 4,000 a single time. So now we can figure out based on that, what is our NPV and our internal rate of return. So now let's scroll down. So we're going to use all those same numbers. So for the NPV, we can now just hit this NPV button. So I hit NPV and we're going to enter our required rate of return. So this is gonna be based on the risk of this particular project. Let's say for this project, we demand a return of 20% annually. It's a very risky project, so we can hit 20%, enter. Now we'll hit the down arrow, and we're just going to hit compute. And that tells us that our NPV for this project is $7,625.99. So that is a positive NPV, so that means we would want to accept the project. Now let's do IRR. So all we need to do is hit the IRR button, and then this compute. And so we'll find that the internal rate of return, which makes the NPV zero or us indifferent to this project is 55.63%. And because the IRR of the 55.63% exceeded what we put into the required rate of return in the NPV sheet of 20%, again, we would want to accept the project. <laughs>